I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it later. Get the chainsaw ready right, just in case. Welcome back, everyone, to Strange Monkey Reviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing A Quiet Place Part 2. Quiet Place Part 2 is directed by John Krasinski. And it stars Emily Blunt, Cillian Murphy, Melissa Simmons, Noah Jupe, Jaiman Hansu, and John Krasinski. And it revolves around the same family from the first film that is forced to navigate and survive in a post-apocalyptic world inhabited by blind monsters with an, with an acute sense of hearing. Let's talk about the acting. The performances in this film were nothing but fantastic. Everyone, Emily Blunt, uh, Millicent Simmons, everyone, John Krasinski, and the new additions to this film, Cillian Murphy and Jaiman Hansu, they were... They were very good. The same cast from the first movie has that same chemistry. In fact, it gets stronger as the movie progresses. You have Evelyn, Reagan, and Marcus. Same characters from the first film. They're on their own after the events of the, of the first film. Spoiler alert if you didn't see it. I'm sorry, but yeah. John Krasinski's character, he was killed towards the end of the film. And, uh... It is what it is now, they gotta keep it moving. Let me tell you who stole the show, okay? Malison Simmons, I believe that's her name. You know, for being a deaf actress, she stopped her game up in this film. You know, you can really connect with her because of what she's been going through in this film. You know, losing her father and just having to look out for herself and all her other family members, you know, and then you have, and, and, she has to trust these new characters in this film. You know, and you, you feel that, you know? She has great chemistry with everybody. Give this young woman an Oscar. For fuck's sake! They have a newborn baby with them, and they run into Emmett, I believe that's his name, uh, played by Cillian Murphy, and they need his help. He is somebody who doesn't, he does not trust a lot of people. And apparently he's, a, he's an old friend of Lee's. Before all of this went down, and you, know, you, you also have uh, Jaiman Hansu's character, which he is uh, a man that has a, a few more people with him in this film. Whoops, uh, sorry if I spoiled anything, but I'm not trying to spoil a whole lot. But my point is, there are new actors in this film, you know, a lot of different uh, characters. You know, this, this whole world is being expanded upon, and I didn't think that there was going to be another sequel. Makes you wonder, are there other people out there? Is anybody left alive? Well, this movie confirms that yes, there are more people, there are more characters, and everybody just meshes well together. I love the chemistry in this film. But anyway, was this film scary? Hell yes, it was. Um, you never know when those damn blind creatures are gonna come at you, and when they do, they, they make it count. <laughs> it's a sink or swim situation. They're going to kill you or they are going to fail. But um, yeah, they are they are terrifying because you never know when they're about to strike. Because if you don't if you don't stay quiet, we will slash you to pieces and it's over. Um, as far as the story goes, I think it was a very well grounded story. Um, John Krasinski did state that uh, this film. Did, didn't intend to have a sequel after the first Quiet Place, but, you know, it ended up happening, and I'm glad that it did, because I heard that this was originally going to be focused on another family. I, I don't want that. Why would we do that? Let's keep it moving with the first family and see where this goes, and then you can introduce more characters and whatnot. Um, but I don't think this film would have been as good as I thought it was without him. He knows what he's doing. You know, he, he's working with his wife and then the other actors and, and and there's great chemistry between all of them. And it works. You have this opening scene that tells, you know, tells you a little bit of what's going on the first day when all this went down and whatnot. The backstory. And then we jump to present day. I think that was a, a great way to start things off. And the tension in this film is, is high for most of, the, most of it. 
And then when it goes down, you can breathe a little bit. And then boom, it gets crazier again. But um, like I said, a well-grounded story. They knew what they were doing. John Krasinski knew what the hell he was doing. So kudos to you, good sir. But um, overall, I loved it. A Quiet Place Part 2 was one of the films that was affected by this, uh, this virus thing that's going around. And it was delayed a whole damn year. But uh, it was certainly worth the wait. Let me tell you, it was entertaining from start to finish. So therefore, Quiet Place Part 2 is one hell of a good time. Strange Monkey approved. It's very rare when a second entry in a franchise or a sequel, it doesn't have to be a bunch of them, but when a sequel, you know, there are expectations for the sequel. It has to be just as good as the original or a lot better than that. But I think it's just, they're the same, you know? They go well together. It's kind of like Halloween and Halloween 2, the originals. You know, they, they go together perfectly. A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2, they're, they're like this, connected, okay? Loved it. If you're a fan of the first one, I highly recommend that you... Uh, I gotta wrap this up. I'm very sorry. Uh, if you like The Quiet Place, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, follow me on all these notification thingies that you see here. Um, if you like The Quiet Place Part 2, you, you gotta let me know. Hey, get it going! That's what I'm talking about. Let's, let's do this shit. We gotta fuck them. Ah, there's something going to ah. 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 ah.